Okay, so I'm going to do an all S-Ranks run so that I can finally get a sub-54 minute time. Which I should have done already, but it's just... Extremely annoying to do for some reason. I'm so very bad when it comes to getting an, uh, an all S-Ranks time under 54 minutes. 3, 2, 1, go. But... I don't know why. I just play terribly. Usually the terrible gameplay comes in the second half of the run, usually like level 6, 7, or 8 onwards uh, is terrible, with the exception of level 9 is usually good, but everything else is usually terrible, and then I lose the run. Because I just lose too much time to recover. Shoot him! Come on! Dang it! Optimus hits too hard at close range. Shoot him from a distance. Ow. Lock on and fire. But yeah, I just I play like garbage in the second half usually for some reason, and I think worse is that my last couple runs, uh, failed runs obviously that I've just been doing a minute ago, have been like awful in the first four levels because usually what i do is i don't play level four awfully but i play it badly enough to where i don't save time like i should i should be saving half a minute or more if i play really well maybe 40 seconds or so but instead i'm only saving 20 to 25 usually which is just not enough because i want to have the ability to lose to just bleed a ton of time in the second half and still succeed because I kind of, it's it seem, it's annoying, but it seems almost inevitable that I'm just going to bleed time in the second half. Because I, for whatever reason, I'm incapable of playing the second half well in all S ranks. And I don't know why. You would think like, you would think if someone's going to play badly, it's because they're bad or something. You wouldn't think if, that, like, you'd think if I was going to play badly, like, that there'd be a reason I, I guess, or that I just wouldn't, but there's just no apparent reasoning for it. I just play terribly, but with the exception of one run that I did, I think that it was yesterday, I did a run where I actually just lost the run entirely to a soft lock that has only happened one other time, which is kind of funny. Uh, what happened is, after level 11, I just got stuck on the loading screen in the icon in the bottom right corner, which is an Autobot symbol and a Decepticon symbol that keep rotating. That just kept rotating and it never took me to the next level. It didn't freeze, because that icon was still moving. But, it wouldn't load the next level. And so, I was just stuck. And I lost the run to that. Uh, the only other time that that happened, I think, was in one of my early All Artifacts runs, where I think that it happened right after the Starscream fight in level 11, instead of the end of level 11 itself. But, the, the same thing still occurred. The only option that I had was, the only options that I had were either closing the game, or hitting the home button and closing the game entirely, or turning the Wii U off entirely. So, nothing... Neither of which are helpful for speedruns. I lost 0.7 seconds, which is not that bad, actually. Uh, but neither neither of those things are beneficial when you're trying to be fast. Uh, that was annoying, honestly. Because I was only 19 seconds behind, which doesn't sound like anything extraordinary at first. And I guess that it isn't. But usually I'm a lot farther behind, so it actually gave me a shot. I could have had it if I had saved just 20. I was I was actually did I say 19 seconds behind? I was actually I was 18, but technically 17.9, which is I'm just calling that 18 seconds. So I would have had to basically be 21 seconds of time saved between level 12 and level 13. Uh, and there was no guarantee that I saved that time, but I had a good chance, you know. So the fact that I lost to a soft lock instead of my own lack of skill, I guess in a way is it's in a way it's more annoying, but I guess in a way it's also kind of less annoying. 
But I but it's actually not, it's more annoying. Perfect. That worked so well. One oh four? What? Have I ever entered this part of the level? Have I ever began the Arachnid fight at 104? I'm not sure I've ever done, like, been at this point in the level faster than 105. Maybe I got a 103 up to this point once, but I'm not sure. This this could be my shot to get uh, the best time that I've ever gotten on this level in any category. I have a chance to get a 222. I think that the best I've ever done is a 223. Come on, 222. I don't know, but I wonder if this level can be done in under 2 minutes and 20 seconds. Because if I was any faster, almost, I could have had a 221. And from there, it's only basically 2 seconds to get to a sub-220. So I wonder, it's probably doable, just not easy. I don't understand, uh, back to the soft block though, in level 11, I don't understand why it happens, it's only happened twice, it just seems to kind of happen for no apparent reason. Uh, but it, but, but I mean there's not much to it beyond that, it just happened. 222, yes! This has got to be the run now. 222, I should be saving like 5 seconds here probably. I got three twos, triple two. Saved 4.7 seconds, I'm 3.9 seconds ahead. I've wanted a 222 for a while at this point, actually. So I'm happy to finally get that. This has to be the run because of that. Even if it's not the run, I would definitely upload the 222 as, a, as an IL if I remember to. But this is the run. Wow, that was incredibly close to falling. Because of that level 2, no matter what happens this run, I'm taking it all the way, I think. Unless I fail within the next, like, couple of levels or something, then maybe not, but otherwise... I, I, I'm taking this run all the way. If I make it to, like, level 8 or 9, I'm taking this all the way. Regardless of how it turns out. Is that gonna finish him? It didn't, but that's fine. That could have been better. Honestly, that worked out not perfectly, but really well.
Okay, let's just not mess anything up for the rest of the run. Or rather, let's play the rest of the run well, I guess. Perfect. Oh, okay. If it was any faster, I wouldn't have had to look at that screen. But I had to have that screen pop up, which would be slightly faster. It's not so much a big deal that that happens as it is neat to see happen. What? Wait, how fast is this gonna be? No, okay, it's not gonna be anything insane, I don't think. Well? This is going to be a 404 or a 405, which I think would be the fastest that I've ever beaten this. I think that I've not done it any faster than a 406. At best, I've done a 401, but I'm pretty sure that I've done a 406 is my fastest. Maybe a 405. I don't think that I've ever done a 404, but there's a chance that I have one time. I don't know. Basically, my best... This is going to be within five seconds of my best. And it might even be my best. That's not good. I'm not so sure if it's a good thing that he's that far to the side. It might not matter, but... I don't like it. It doesn't matter, apparently. Four oh four. I think that that's two bests in a row. Bests in any category ever, I think, in a row. Two of them. Level three with a two twenty two and level four or sorry, level two with a two twenty two and level three with a four oh four. This is absolutely the run. I saved twelve point two seconds. I'm sixteen point two seconds ahead. Come on. If it's any run, it's this run. That's not what I meant to do. That could have been a little better, but it's fine. Not a big deal. could have been about five seconds faster. And then I didn't skip that cutscene well, but it doesn't matter. I'm glad that I didn't accidentally blow that up. Perfect. Very good so far. One forty six. This is not necessarily a perfect level four, but a very fast one. That's not great. He's in the first basement. That works, I guess. 
It doesn't lose much time. I marked some places to look on the radar. Go check them out. It's not gonna let us go any further. I'll take care of them here. That almost went poorly. See, I can't hack in because of that device in the room. I don't know why I charged that. There were no crates that I could have hit with it, but I thought that there might be. Is it gonna hit him? Okay, that was almost too early. I feel like these guys are normally appearing, like, they, they're appearing slower than usual, those two, uh, Viacon cars in that room. Maybe I'm crazy, but it seems like they're coming in slower than normal. Whoa, like the energy field thing, I don't know, like the little I, I, that little icon was still around it. I could have done this 10 seconds faster or so, probably, but that's not bad. That's actually pretty good. I don't know, is the icon normally still around that generator after you beat it, I, or just to destroy it? I don't think so. Perfect. Why is he over there? It's actually not that big of a deal, it's more stupid than anything though. Ooh, wait, that's a problem. I still have to collect two crates. Shards, not just one. A bit out of the way, probably not worthwhile to bother with, but not that much slower. Even if it is slower. Okay, we have enough shards. This looks like it's gonna be about a 550 if I play knockout quickly. Maybe, maybe like a 552. Which is very fast. Okay, that hit me, but that's not a big deal. Well, maybe it is. Maybe it's making him run around for longer, but I don't think so. This should finish in here. Five fifty four? Five fifty four. Very, 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 very fast to knock out, all things considered. Or level four in general, actually. This should save me thirty five seconds, or at least thirty. I think. 28.6. That's still close enough, which means that I'm 44.8 seconds ahead because of the insane level 2 and 3 performances. <laughs> Are 
reason for you to fight. Ah, Optimus, it's pointless to try to reason with him. Ah. Target his head! That ah. should weaken him! I am the hand of Unicron! That hit him multiple times, that's super good. That hit him multiple times, but that was different, because I actually literally did multiple attacks. 105? Okay, very good Thunderwing fight. Dang it, I knew that, that was gonna happen. Okay, okay, okay. Mitigate time loss. Just go the normal route. I almost went the normal route the first time. No, dude. No, no, no. I'm gonna lose 15 seconds here, aren't I? No, 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 no. We can't afford this, dude. Okay, I'm losing 10. I'm not losing 15, probably. But that's awful. I knew that that was gonna happen, too. If I had just gone the normal route, I would have been like th three seconds slower, maybe. I just don't ever go the normal route anymore, so I'm kind of scared to, I guess, because I- not because I'm gonna lose time, I don't guess, but may, maybe because I will, but because I'm just thinking that I'm gonna play it badly or something, and also it's not faster, so I just naturally don't go for it. <laughs> okay, I lost 12.9, basically 13 seconds. Still 31.9 ahead. We're alright for now. Let's just gain some time back and not lose- Let's not lose time for the rest of the run, hopefully. Okay, that could have been three seconds faster, but it's fine. Not quite perfect because of the beginning being a couple seconds slow, but otherwise, very good. There's not much that you can mess up in the vehicle section except for you could fall, which would be really bad. I would have just taken care of my mission and let you go. But now you've made it personal. Scrap you and bring your holes to Lord Megatron as souvenirs. 
That works, I guess. Destruction from above? Yep. Okay, he doesn't do that annoying red attack that he does sometimes. Fly off, Dribbling. Or don't, I don't care. I completely avoided that somehow. Ah, uh, that's a problem. It's real bad. Okay, I'm only gonna lose five seconds here, maybe. Three oh nine. Yeah, okay. I I can I can be okay after this level. I'm still gonna be twenty six seconds ahead, I think. I got Pursuer again. I, I've had that in some failed runs, or at least a failed run. Okay, I lost 9.4 seconds, actually. I'm 22.4 ahead still. Alright, the deal now, I have to not mess up Knockout 2, which I should, should hopefully be able to do. I think. And then not lose time in any other levels, if I do that. And even if I don't do that, I should not lose time in any other levels. Uh, and then I need to save some time back as well, just in case I do mess anything up. So I should avoid losing time here, and avoid losing time in level 8. Save, hopefully, about 10 seconds in level 9. Avoid losing time in level 10, hopefully. Uh, avoid losing time and maybe save time in level 11. The same thing in level 12 and 13. Just avoid losing time or save time in every level for the rest of the run. And hopefully save time in a couple of them. Optim that works. Oh, okay, I didn't expect uh, to fall off there. I didn't really see the spot to fall off for some reason. Perfect. That worked surprisingly well, I guess. Uh oh. That also worked surprisingly well. Did I make that jump? Wow. I should not have jumped as early as I did. That could have been better, but I also didn't want to fall. Okay, this is pretty fast. It's not perfect, but it's pretty fast. It's not that far off of the best I think I really ever do with this level. Optimus, are you okay? Thank Primus. Wow, that's very good advice, Bulkhead, after Optimus has fallen, because of one of the footholds being too weak to support him. I did not just get hit. No, 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 no. This is so, so, so bad. Can you please just fall off? 
This is not good. Whoa, that was close to me falling off the edge completely. I think that this is not gonna lose terrible amounts of time. No, it's gonna lose a bit of time. Maybe I can lose no more than 10 seconds, hopefully. Maybe. Okay, I only lost about 10 seconds there. That's not good, but it could be worse. Barely got the guest rank, I guess, but not really much different than usual. I mean, you don't get many extra energon shards. Okay, I lost 11.2, dang it. I'm 11.1 .1 behind. Assuming I don't lose any time for the rest of the run, I will make it. But this is a scarily low amount of time that I'm ahead by. <laughs> I need to save, I desperately need to save time in every level for the rest of the run, or at least every level for the rest of the run with the exclusion of maybe level 10. Something I just noticed today, I guess, maybe yesterday, is that uh, beating those two cars just works so fluidly. I mean, you just go from one to the other, back and forth, you just transition your hits, I guess. Over and over. Back and forth. You hit one, then you hit the other, then you hit one, then you hit the other. And it just, it looks kinda cool, I guess, and it, it just works really well. Even though it's nothing particularly special, it's neat, I guess. I don't need the energy shards, but I'll collect them, because why not? I almost got hit by that, I think. I think that I could have only done this about two seconds faster, which is really good. I don't know where I could have been two seconds faster, but somewhere. And it doesn't really matter much, hopefully. I didn't need that one, but uh, I got it anyway. Really? Yes, I did. And I if you just constantly tap the joystick to the side instead of holding a direction, it's kind of funny because not only is the camera not automatically face the direction that you're facing, which it usually does, but it's also just funny how Ratchet's starting and stopping to move over and over, and his foot just does this. What? Ratchet! They're still- they're both on the platform. That worked. <laughs> it's not perfect, but it worked. I think he actually might have fallen faster because I hit him with the charge shot too, which is not- uh, it wasn't intentional. I- I charged a charge shot, but I wasn't- I didn't even really realize that that might be slightly faster in terms of it. He falls less time, maybe, because of it? I don't know. That's kind of neat, I guess. Perfect. 
Very good. No major mistakes. The beginning of the lift wasn't that great, but no major mistakes, still. That was the best that I might have ever knocked those guys off the lift. Technically, it doesn't matter that you knock them off the lift that fast, though, because you have to wait for these guys to spawn anyway. No. That lift was insane! What? I finished that tank off at about 4 minutes and 33 seconds in. No way. Oh my gosh. Dude, what? And what is it from finishing those guys? Is it about 20 seconds of waiting? 22? 22. 4 minutes and 55 seconds, beginning the last part of the level, which I think is about a minute and 15 seconds long? Or maybe it's 2 minutes long? Like, 2 minutes and 15 seconds? I don't remember. This could be very good, though. I, this, this could be actually time save on this level, which I just never do. For some reason. Uh oh. They're moving. They're definitely moving. Aim for that I'm, and I'm leaving. Good job, Rasket. Let's take out the rest of them. Way to go, Rasket. I think Soundwave's starting to sweat. Are you serious? No, don't come this way. Oh no 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 no! He's not stuck. Crap. I hate to do that, but I don't know what else to do. Cause now I have to deal with a truck, probably. No vehicle trucks. Thank God. Yes, the generators are all disabled. They didn't even begin to spawn. What? That's surprising. Okay. Hopefully this works. What is this gonna be, a 703 or something? 702? Is that the best that I've ever done this level? I think that the best I've ever done this level is a 701 or a 702. That's insane. That's either the best or the second best that I've ever done this level, I think. Oh my gosh, how much time is this gonna save? This has to save time. It's going to. This is so insane. <laughs> 21.4 seconds. I'm 32.6 ahead. Come on. This is absolutely the run. Knockout, you will not kill this run. I guess I'll just it is not happening. My on you. You need children Nothing else is going to kill this run either, by the way. Just for the other levels. N none of you are going to kill the run either. Okay, that's fine. Please, you can't even climb up here. Can wow, that almost hit. Pathetic ground crawler. Strap. 
Well, that kind of was a weird interaction there. That went through the ship, because when you're really close to the wall, they seem to go through the ship. Like the shots that the Raccoon shoots do. Perfect. This should finish her, but I'm scared still. Oh my gosh, 118. 118. Oh, that was terrifying. Because I missed her on the way down, so even though I can shoot her while she's on the ground, it still was terrifying. I should save about 10 seconds, I think. 9.8. I'm 42.5 ahead. Oh my gosh, that was terrifying. Oh wait. Okay. No level 11 soft lock. Not happening. And also, while we're at it, knockout. You are not going to ruin this run. I refuse to allow it. Thank god that I punched then. If I was any later or earlier, I probably wouldn't have... I probably would have lost time a lot to knock out. That's fine. Perfect. 58. 59. Incredible knockout. Probably still gonna be a couple seconds slow, like 4 or 5, but I do not care. Very fast knockout. This is the run. It is happening here. I only lost 3.8 seconds. That's not that bad. 38.6 ahead still. Come on. Say it with me. No level 11 soft lock. If it happened, if it were to happen, which it won't, but if it were to happen, then that would be just absurd. But like I said, it won't happen. It's not going to happen. There is no level 11 soft lock in this run. There's absolutely 0% chance of it happening. Come on, let's get Star Screen. Perfect. That hit me? Okay, 56 seconds Star Screen? Star Screen fight ended at 56 seconds. That's when the cutscene was starting. Perfect. I mean, technically I had a failed run with a 52 second star stream earlier, but that doesn't matter. It's not literally perfect, but I mean it's perfect in the sense that it works out really well. Perfect, those guys are finished, so they can't get in my way anymore. Uh, 
207. I should only lose like a second or two, maybe. I might not even lose that. Come on. I only lost 2.7 seconds. Not bad. Okay. Thank God for no level 11 soft lock. Oops. Pause doesn't matter. Having an accidental pause in one of my more recent runs, I don't, that doesn't usually happen. I, I kind of stopped doing that for the most part after my early runs. Perfect. Ah, uh, he's not doing the optimal pattern. That almost hit me. I almost jumped too early. Come on, no. No heart attacks, dude. None of that stuff. Metaphorical, of course. Not actual, literal heart attacks. Fantastic. Can I hit it from this distance? Nope, my aim is terrible. I don't even need that energy on, I just like to collect it. Because I can, I have time while I wait anyway for Megatron. Perfect. I don't understand why this artifact doesn't get collected when I'm so close to it. I feel like the other ones get collected from greater distances than that one. I don't understand. <laughs> you you have to almost actually touch that artifact to collect it, which you usually just, they magnetize to you or something. I saved 0.7 seconds. I'm 36.6 seconds ahead. Come on. Oh wait, I wasn't ready. Ah. Uh, that's fine. That almost hit me. Perfect. This is practically perfect Thunderwing patterns. That was so fast! It wasn't necessarily perfect, but it was very good. Very fast Thunderwing. One, oh, four, beginning the vehicle section. Let's go, dude, come on. Imagine if my gamepad was at low batteries right now or something and just died. How funny that would be. It'd be awful. But actually, this is a vehicle section, so... You know what's funny? If my, if my gamepad... If I'm driving in a straight line down the middle... Maybe not even just down the middle. Maybe at any a straight line at all, as long as I'm not going to fall off. Theoretically, if I have gotten past the Energon Cube and then one of these gods, and I'm in the center and I'm driving in a straight line, even if my controller died and it just kept going, and I had to like play, like, like, put my Wii gamepad controller on the stand and like awkwardly play right up within like three inches of the TV, then theoretically, if I was driving in a straight line still, I, I would just complete the vehicle section, because it's just a straight line. Like, if I- my controller died right now, I would probably be this vehicle section. Which is kind of hilarious. Technically, it's like halfway to two-thirds of the way through, through it, but still. This might be the fastest that I've ever actually gotten to the end of this 
um, vehicle section. 215? Yeah, I'm not sure I've ever done that faster. That's fine. Not ideal, but it's fine. Of course he's doing unoptimal patterns, but I don't care much. I'll smash you to atoms! Is that the best you can do? What is he doing? It's like the most ridiculous combination of unoptimal patterns possible, like or suboptimal, I don't know. Basically like the worst patterns that he can do. Oh crap. I knew that that was gonna happen. I couldn't really do anything about it either. You won't escape me. Okay. Perfect. That was the worst part of the fight so far, but otherwise, insanely good level. No one defies Thunderwing. This is it, this is the run. Wait, what am I doing? I don't need to shoot more than once there. I'm playing like an idiot now. That actually might not be a bad thing, what I'm doing, but... That worked. It's not what I'm trying to do, but it worked. Dang it, I didn't prevent him from flying away. It doesn't matter. This is fantastic. Sub four and a half minute Thunder Wing? Maybe? Like 420... I don't know, 426 Thunder Wing maybe? What do you know? Not that far away from sub-53. <laughs> what in the world? 4.30 exactly, that's fine. If I was 10 seconds faster, I would still not have made it, I don't think. Nope. 15 or 20? 20, 20 would have been it. Okay. I did get all S ranks, which is good. It's gonna be a 53.13 or 53.15? 53-14! Oh my god, it's finally over! <sighs> That's so relieving. I think that the funny thing is, if I had just avoided losing 15 of the seconds that I lost, or if I had just saved 15 more seconds over the course of the run, either of those two things would have gotten me a 52-59. My sum of best is a 52-28, wow. But, yeah, that's insane. I saved 10.7 seconds, it says. 47.4 seconds at the end of the run. There's like... Wow, it just... It worked. I finally... I finally got sub-54. It would have been nice to get sub-53, but that's a goal for another day. And it's funny, because I was thinking over the last, like, like, like today and yesterday and stuff, when I've been doing all S-Ranks runs, trying to get a sub-54, I've been thinking, once I get sub-54, it's gonna be a long time before I go for sub-53, probably. Like, it's gonna be a while. Because it was kind of annoying to get sub-54. But honestly, I did enjoy this run. Um, and... The 
fact that I got this close to sub-53 is incredible to me. But the thing is... I mean, I'm thinking of this as, like, very difficult to beat, which it is, but also it's not, in the sense that I didn't have any... Other than level 8, none of my levels were just way faster than usual. I beat level 3 two seconds faster than I do usually when I play it really well. And level 2, you know, one to three seconds faster than when I play it really well. So that's like five seconds maybe. You know, that's not that much time. That's not a big deal to, to deal with that. I mean, that'd be like, if I don't have that time saved, then I would have to be 20 seconds faster elsewhere, which is doable because I lost, uh, like, what, 14 seconds or something in level 5? No, I lost 12.9. I lost almost 13. If I had just not, if I had just gone around in level 5 and lost, say, 3 to 5 seconds, I would have been, like, a sub-53-10, I think, almost. Because, like, if I had lost 5 seconds, then I would have been still, like, 7 faster, yeah. If I had just not lost any time in level 5, and then hadn't messed up level 6 a little bit, what did I do in level 6? I lost, like, 9 seconds? That right there is basically 22 seconds of time saved. And that would have put me comfortably enough under, not much, but comfortably-ish under 53 minutes. I would have had a 52-53. Honestly, just incredible. I just don't... I don't think I'm gonna play all S ranks again for a good while. And when I do, I guess the goal is sub-53. I was thinking whenever I got sub-54, I'm like, okay, the goal will just be sub-53-30 and then eventually sub-53. But, no, the goal is sub-53 just immediately after the sub-54. I'm not gonna play this category again for a while, probably. I'm happy with this time for now, and I honestly do not feel like playing this category much more for the time being. But eventually, I'll probably come back to it, because I mean, I always do come back to all of the categories. Uh, yeah, next, pretty soon, is 50 Emblem. And I think, I might be wrong, but I think that 50 Emblem is going to get destroyed in one run. <laughs> because my time is a 121.13, and I looked over my times, earlier today I looked over my times, I guess yesterday, because it's like, just past midnight currently. But, I looked over some of my times, and... Uh, like, of levels in my 121.13 50 emblem run. And I see about five minutes, almost, of time save. Which, in theory, I see just a little under that, maybe. But there's definitely five minutes there, in theory, so. Uh, and more than that, even. But five minutes of time save, if, if you make that five minutes and 14 seconds, basically, so around 5.15, of time save, 5 minutes 15 seconds, would be sub, uh, what, like, 116? I think, which, that would really be something. I think that sub 121 is fr beyond free, I think, and I think the same thing, that that can be, same thing can be said of 120, sub 120? And sub-119 is also probably pretty free. Sub-118 might not be completely free, but is probably barely free, I think. And then sub-117 would be a lot harder. But I think that the crazy thing is that back... Uh, all, it's been pretty much a year at this point since I did my 121.13.50 emblem run. And I meant to come back to it multiple times, but I just never did. Uh, par partially because all S ranks was in the way. I wanted to beat it first and then finally go back to 50 Emblem. But yeah, so 
Oh, the... The thing with... Um... Pick the Emblem? I thought at one point, like when I did that run almost a year ago, I thought that Sub-1815 Emblem would be near perfection, or, or at least about my limit. And now I'm looking at it a year later, when I'm so much better at the game, and 118 is like... <laughs> Pro practically free, I think, or at least not that difficult to get, which I think is insane, honestly, just just insane that that it went from being very difficult, and I had like little chance of getting it, or at least not little chance of getting it. Maybe that, but I thought maybe if I did get it, it would be something that it would take a good while. To now, where I I'm thinking like. There's multiple levels where I could just straight up save a full minute. You know? <laughs> it's that it's that bad of a run. But at the time it was fantastic, all things considered. I mean it wasn't perfect even a year ago when I did it, but it's just that I'm a lot better at the game now, so it I'm real I realize just how slow that run really is compared to what I should be able to do in one try, probably. If I had to guess, maybe I won't, but if I had to guess, I could get a one try sub 120? Probably a one try sub 119? Maybe, not sure about this one, maybe a one try sub 118. So yeah. I guess that that's. That's the next thing. Is getting a sub 120 and also maybe a sub 119. I mean, one, sub 121, obviously, but then sub 120. It, and then probably sub-119, and maybe sub-118, all in the same run, potentially. Yeah. Maybe in one try. Not guaranteed, but it, it really is a possibility. That'd be funny if I did that, because that would be like 3 minutes in 15 seconds, or 3 minutes and 14 seconds or more of time save. Honestly, after that 50 emblem run, like after I... I like, if I were to do that, then there's... Once I get 50 emblem a bit more optimized, then there is probably not going to be any more runs done of this game where um, two or more minutes are saved in one run. Because any percent, I think perfect any percent, would probably be able to get sub-49. In, but I'm not certain of that, but I think so. So that means that sub-51 in any percent would probably make it impossible to save two or more minutes in one run. Depending on how much you get sub-51 by. And then... Which, I mean, in my any percent run, I haven't looked at all the levels, I've only looked at level 8, but level 8 alone I could save 40 plus seconds. I could save, you know, 40, 48 seconds or more, in theory, but realistically probably 40 or so, just in that one level. And that would that would already take me, so, uh, like, to a sub-52, under 52 minutes, I'd get, uh, if I saved 40 seconds, I would be like a 50, 51, 52, I think? Because I have a 52-32 that stood for over a year. Uh, since May 31st, I think? At least that's when the video is from, of 2022, and it's currently, what, July, I guess, the beginning of July 13th, since it's just past midnight, it's the beginning of July 13th of 2023. Um, yeah, honestly, there's not much else to say beyond that, except that all artifacts in all S ranks, I think, would are about two minutes slower than any percent. And so there, there are times that you would have to get to prevent sub, uh, or like um, two minutes or more from being saved in any one run, which it's not that I would want to prevent it so much as it's just going to be unrealistic and eventually impossible, I think. I think uh, it would be sub 53, I think, because sub 51 would be the equivalent of sub 49 in any percent when it comes to all artifacts and all S ranks, since they're two minutes slower, sub 51 would be the equivalent of sub 49, so sub 53, which I almost got here, 
So if I get a so, so if this was like 15 plus second, if this was like if this was probably half a minute faster, then there's a chance that there's that it's not even possible to beat it by two minutes or more. Uh, and then same goes for all artifacts, but except my all artifacts run, I would have had to be like a minute faster because it was a 53:49. But then. For, for 50 emblem, I think that time would be around a 116 or a 117. In, in somewhere in that range. I don't think... I think because... I think sub 115... You'd have to save 6 minutes and 14 seconds, at least, basically, over my 120, 113. Uh, and I don't know if that's possible, but it very well might be. It probably is, honestly. If you were just completely perfect, you could probably get a sub 120, or no, 115 in 50 emblem. But yeah. Other than that, there's a couple, like, there. I need to do some ILs after I get 50 emblem, uh, 50 emblem goals, I guess. And then, and then big, big goals for ILs are sub 4 minute level 3. Uh, eventually maybe sub 220 level 2 if possible. Maybe sub 210 level 1, again, if possible. I'm not certain that either of those are possible. But sub 4 minute level 3 should be definitely, almost definitely possible. And then, in fact, it should be definitely possible, I think. I don't know. It, sh it should be pretty much certainly possible. And then, uh, level 4, I guess sub five and a half minutes is probably possible uh level five doesn't really have much i mean because i think it's at a 127 it can be beaten one second faster maybe two i don't know um i think anyway i don't even know if it can be beaten two seconds faster pretty much certain that it could be one but i don't know otherwise uh and then Level 6, I've already gotten a sub 3 minute time, so I guess sub 250 would probably be possible, but I'm not sure if that's something I really would bother going for. And this is all any percent, of course. Other categories, I'm not really sure for ILs. But yeah, then level 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 7 would be maybe a sub 3, not sure that that's possible. Level 8, definitely sub 7 is possible. I got a 702 just there, and I could have saved at least 2 seconds in the beginning part of the level, and then I could have done the lift a little faster, so definitely definitely possible to get sub 7 in level 8. Level 9, not really much beyond 117. Maybe 115 or sub 115 is possible, don't know. Level 10, not not really much beyond the 49 second time that I somehow already got. And then, there's not really much beyond that, honestly. Me, like, r really there's not a ton. There's not a ton beyond that. I mean, there, there could be a couple things in but that's about it, I think. So, yeah. I, I'm i not sure how interesting it is to just hear ran me randomly talk about uh, what time speedruns could theoretically get. I would think it would be, personally, but maybe not everyone thinks so. Uh, so, yeah, I've been talking about that for like 10 minutes or, or so. So I'm just going to... Uh, uh, end the, the video here, and the speedrun, I, I mean, the speedrun ended 15 minutes ago, but, <laughs> 16 minutes ago, actually, but, anyway, yeah. uh, sub 120, 50 emblem next, that might also be, that's also, obviously, sub 120, 150 emblem, and also might be sub 119, 50 emblem, and also has, a, has the potential to be sub 118, 50 emblem next, possibly in one try, not guaranteed, obviously, but very possible. Because there's just that much time to save. I mean, I, there's potential for over five minutes of time save. I only have to save about half of the potential time save. You know, I only have to save three minutes to get... Three minutes and 15 seconds, almost. 3.14, I guess. To get sub-118. But yeah. Anyway, with all of that said, uh, I guess, basically, 50 emblem next, then IL's then back to any percent, actually, for sub-52, probably. And that's really uh, all that I have to say for now, so bye, I guess.